Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through clef lip and clef palette. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash clef lip or in the ENT section of the Zero to Finals Pediatrics book. So let's jump straight in. A cleft lip is a congenital condition where there's a split or open section of the upper lip. This opening can occur at any point along the top lip and can extend as high as the nose. A cleft palate is where a defect exists in the hard or the soft palate at the roof of the mouth. This leaves an opening between the mouth and the nasal cavity. Cleft lip and cleft palate can occur together or on their own. Most cases of cleft lip or cleft palate occur randomly. Having a relative with a cleft lip or palate makes it slightly more likely, however it does not follow a traditional inheritance pattern. 3 in 10 cases of cleft lip or cleft palate are associated with another underlying syndrome. Let's talk about the complications of having a cleft lip or a cleft palate. Neither are life-threatening conditions, although it can lead to significant problems with feeding, swallowing and speech. It can also have significant psychosocial implications, such as affecting bonding between the mother and the child. Surgery generally resolves these problems. Children with cleft palates can be more prone to hearing problems, ear infections and glue ear. Let's talk about management. Patients should be referred to the local cleft lip service. This involves a specialist multidisciplinary team that includes specialist nurses to support and coordinate care, plastic, maxillofacial and ENT surgeons, dentists, speech and language therapists, psychologists and general practitioners. The first priority is to ensure the baby can eat and drink. This may involve specially shaped bottles and teats. The specialist nurse will follow the child through surgery and beyond to ensure good development. Definitive management is with surgical correction. This leaves a subtle scar but is generally very successful and gives full functionality to the child. Cleft lip surgery is usually performed at 3 months whereas cleft palate surgery is done at 6 to 12 months. 